here's how to use Double Tap on your Apple Watch Series 9 in Apple Watch Ultra 2. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. And the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and the Apple Watch Series 9 don't have a bunch of flagship new features, but the one that Apple's been touting quite a bit is called Double Tap. Essentially, by double tapping your fingers together, you can carry an action out on your Apple Watch display, basically hands-free. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about Double Tap. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and customize it to your likings, and I'll even give you the differences between quick actions or assistive touch and double tap, which I know is something that a lot of people have been asking. So let's go ahead and dive into all of it. Starting out, how does double tap work and how do you use it? Basically, Apple Watch is using the new S9 SIP. The Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2 do not have a ton of new features. And most of the new features that are enabled, like improvements to Siri and dictation and double tap, are all enabled by the S9 SIP or Systemin package. The Systemin package carries a bunch of weight for the Apple Watch. It includes a second generation ultra wideband chip, which is great for improvements to find by. It has new GPU to render graphics better. It has a new CPU, which is the first time in years. There's improvements to power management and the displays and all of this kind of stuff, which is really great. And one of those new things is the data processing enhanced by the new neural engine to use for double tap. What Apple is doing is it's combining data that it's gleaning from the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the heart rate sensor on the bottom of the Apple Watch. It combines all this data together to watch out for micro movements in the Apple Watch and changes in your blood vessels that are in the back of your wrist that change when you are tapping your fingers together. It's really cool. And once Apple is able to detect your fingers tapping together, it can just translate that to an action on your Apple Watch. So what functionality does Double Tap do on your Apple Watch? It really depends on where you are. So if you're in an application, the idea is that it will replace the primary button of that app, right? So whatever that happens to be. If you're in a, a timer or a stopwatch, you could start and stop your timer or your, or your stopwatch. If you are inside of the camera app, the remote camera app, you can use, use a tap of your fingers, you know, subtly by your side to trigger the camera shutter to go off. If you have an alarm beeping on your wrist, tapping on your wrist in the morning, you can double tap to, to snooze that alarm. All these things can be done. When you have notifications come in, depending on what the notification is, uh, you can immediately respond. So if you have an iMessage come in, you can double tap to reply to that message. If a Slack message comes in, you can double tap to reply to that message. Uh, if a Twitter or an X post comes in, uh, you are able to double tap and it'll like that post. All that having to do anything, just look at your wrist, double tap, and you're done. You can control media playback, so if there is music playing or movie playing, you can just double tap inconspicuously to play or pause that media. Uh, or you could answer or end a phone call that is coming in. So a phone call comes in, double tap, you'll answer that call, double tap again, and you can hang up. Again, just think about it as the primary button of an app. So when you open it up, there's a single button that you can do, that is what double tap will operate. Some of us may not have a lot going on. For example, if we go into the activity app, there's not really a primary button or function for this app. Uh, so when you do try to double tap in those situations, the little icon on the top will just basically shake its head at you like, nah, I'm not gonna do anything and just wiggle back and forth. So there are times when double tap won't do anything and in those situations, it'll give you the feedback that nothing is being done. So far though, my favorite use of the new double tap is accessing the smart stack. SmartStack is a new feature that came with watchOS 10, and it's basically a series or collection of widgets that you can customize. It can even change its order based on time and your usage patterns, and it's easy just to access by scrolling up on the digital crown or swiping up from the bottom of your watch face. But you don't always wanna do that. Well, now you can do it with just a tap of your fingers. Just tap your fingers and boom, I've entered the SmartStack. Tap again, and it'll actually move to the next widget in the smart stack. And you can go all the way through, just tapping your fingers each time, it'll be going down through your smart stack, and once you get all the way to the bottom, it'll jump you right back up to the top of your smart stack. It's really neat, and then once you put your hand back down, it's gonna go ahead and dismiss that and go back to your watch face. What about settings and customization for Double Tap? Double Tap is enabled by default, though you can turn it on. 
If you head into the settings, you can go to gestures, which will have the same double tap icon to show you what it is. When you go in, you can turn it off or on manually. If it was off and you want to turn it on, it will ask you to disable any accessibility features you have enabled that mimic similar functionality, like quick actions or assists of touch. There are two ways that you can customize what Double Tap does. You can choose what happens when media is playing or what happens when you are in the smart stack. For media playback, you can control whether or not it goes to the next song or if it's going to play or pause music. I prefer just playing and pausing. Then for the smart stack, you can opt to just click into an option in that smart stack. So if you see one there, you can click on it uh, and it can like launch that app or whatever it needs to do. Or you can just use it to move to the next one in the list. Again, I prefer just going down the list because I can just tap my fingers a bunch of times and see all my different widgets for weather, news, whatever it is that I have set up. So what are the differences between double tap and the previous quick actions or assistive touch that are available on other versions of Apple Watch? If you're more interested in quick actions and assistive touch, I did have a whole other video. It will be linked in this one somewhere. So check that out for more information on how you can set that up on your older Apple Watches. But the biggest difference is, is that quick actions and assistive touch is an accessibility feature that you have to turn on and it operates just slightly differently. So quick actions can use the same function, but in different situations, it'll do different things. So for example, double tap can open up the smart stack, move through, gives you options on how it does that. Same thing for media playback. You can actually control whether it's doing play pause or moving on to the next track. Uh, quick actions, you just have kind of a play or pause, but you don't have anything to do with the smart stack. Uh, similarly, quick actions will do different things for notifications. So if you have a message come in or a Slack message come in, you can respond to them just by using the double tap, whereas quick actions will just dismiss your notifications, which is also kind of handy. I just look at my wrist, I'm like, oh, cool. And I would just tap to dismiss that notification and send it away. Assistive touch is a very verbose form of quick action. It just has a bunch more functionality baked into it. Assistive touch can do things like control the digital crown, the side button, the action button on the ultras. It just does a bunch of other things that basically allows you to control your entire Apple Watch hands-free and it has other gestures like multiple taps and clenching up the wrists and things like that to simulate tapping. So it's a, it's a whole separate thing from quick actions, which is very similar to the double tap. But again, double tap and quick actions are still a little different. I also think at least kind of compared to my other Apple Watches, the Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 are faster because of that S9. So the S9 has the new neural engine. It's easier to recognize these gestures and it just feels really reliable. That could be the biggest difference is Apple came out with quick actions and assistive touch and I'm like, hey, this is a cool feature. We're gonna bake this into accessibility for those that need it, but it's not super reliable uh, or at least not enough to make it a primary feature of the watches. They haven't increased the CPU or neural engine in a few years. But with the new S9, they're like, hey, this is rock solid performance. I mean, every time I tap my fingers, it recognizes it. It works really, really well. So now that they're able to recognize this simple gesture, nearly 100% reliability, it's able to bake it in as a feature. So they, they turned it into a whole feature and then added more weight around it uh, to give you more settings options and other ways to use it on these new versions of the Apple Watch. One thing to note is that Double Tap does require watchOS 10.1, which is currently in developer and public beta testing. It should be released in the month of October. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna use Double Tap? Or are you still using Quick Actions? Let me know if you're picking up a new Apple Watch or what do you think of this new feature down below in the comments. Or you can find me on Twitter at Andrew O'Hara or Andrew underscore OSU or on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have a lot more videos coming your way.